Okay, this is a review of the HP 8025 inkjet printer. And as you can see, oh, let me close that so you can see it's HP. As you can see, it looks good, but looks can be deceiving. So right now it's initializing because I closed that, that door and it's checking the printer, da -da -da -da. but I'm gonna open it back up again because what I wanna tell you about this is that the Insta Ink program, it only works if you have Wi-Fi on and that Wi-Fi is 24 seven. So as you can see from the message in here, in the screen it says that cartridge cannot be used until the printer is enrolled in HP Insta Ink. Well, the reason why I'm saying that is because I kept purchasing um, ink from Best Buy uh, authorized vendor for HP so that it's using the legitimate ink, not bootleg ink. And that's $60 a pop. So what happens is they send you, oh, let me put this up, let me pull it up. So I'm gonna show you the ink. Oops, okay. Right, let me show this up. Okay, so you see these four? These are four cartridges. Now, the, this is one of the problems with this inkjet. It's not that it prints badly, it prints good. The problem is, is that when you use these, when you purchase these cartridges, so let's say if you use all the black ink because you're using, you're um, basically printing mostly, I guess, legal documents or that kind of thing that you should use black, black and white, black ink. So you're not printing color gra graphics and things like that. So let's say you use mostly the black ink and you really don't use these inks. If your black ink runs out, you basically have to toss these, even if they're full, because these you have to buy all of these in unison. You cannot buy these separate. So I cannot, if I, let's say if I was using color and let's say I was using more red or pinks or whatever, maybe let's say that the red was out, or this is really like a pink, the way it looks on here, whatever. But let's say this, the blue was out because that's mostly what I use for graphics or whatever, hypothetically I'm saying. If this goes on E, you have to buy a whole new set of color cartridges. You have to buy all three of them. So even if this one is low, you have to buy all three. If this one is low, you have to buy all three. Matter of fact, you have to buy all four, I'm sorry. Not all three, you have to buy all four. So if this is out, and let's say this is halfway out, and this is all out, you're gonna have to buy all four of these. And that's $60 a pop. And that doesn't matter if you're using five pages, 10 pages, or whatever. So when they promote the Instant Ink program, they're saying that you buy it based on how much you use. If you use 100 pages, you're going to get it, you know, I guess once a month. If you use 1,000 pages, they're going to send you a number of cartridges based on that. But this doesn't really use 100 pages because I've, I've gone through several, several of these sets. Okay, because remember, you have to buy them all together. And I printed less than 50 pages per pop. Okay, and I'm going to be nice. I'm, I'm, it's definitely less, less than 100 pages. Okay, so now I called them about this issue repeatedly. And that's an hour on the phone because you have to explain it to one person. Then they tell you after they take all the information, oh, I can't help you. I got to transfer you to so-and-so. And then the same thing you have to repeat over and over to each person. Like you speak to at least four people each time and repeat the same information. So it's a minimum of an hour that you're going to be on the phone um, dealing with whatever issue in this case it was the ink issue so what happened was once the last time i called them which was early late september or something like that or early september i can't really, really recall but i haven't i don't really use the printer that much and in fact a lot of times i go out and i'll just use kinkos or whatever because of this um fedex kinkos i'll use but whatever the case may be after talking to the last rep they determined that there was something in the unit meaning the printer itself that causes the ink that's sucking most of the ink so that is why you're only being able to use um a little I, I get a few pages out of each set so they sent me a new set of cartridges and they asked me to send them back the old cartridges but i didn't send them back the old cartridges because i said i want to monitor exactly how many pages i'm getting out of this ink so now we're in going towards the end of October my ink just ran out and I pin literally printed less than 60 pages because I counted I wrote down and monitored the number of pages right so 
now my pet my ink my ink the black ink actually just ran out yesterday but these inks were at least 75 percent full but i had to take out the whole set and put in a new set but it just so happened that when my ink ran out yesterday they had sent me a new set which is the set that you see right here and um that's why you see the message that says that you have to sign up for instinct so because it came in a box saying instant instant ink cartridges or whatever so i put these in but it's not going to let me print unless i register with instant ink the problem with the instant ink is that you have to have your wi-fi on they want your computer to be connected i guess so that they can tell that you're on wi-fi 24 7. i mean i'm your printer that's ridiculous like no i'm not doing that so i'm calling them now about why is the printer the print the, the printers that the instant ink is not working because it's from instant ink and they want my computer to be connected to wi-fi i mean my printer so we got disconnected while i was going through the last story so i'm just doing this and i'm going to call them back um but i just don't want this printer because i could buy a whole new printer for spending 60 dollars per pop on these and purchasing and, and basically printing less than 60 less than 100 pages less than 100 pages per set of ink and then you have to toss the color ink if it's not used because you cannot use this with a new set like if i if like i said if i use if i use any one of these or all of these i would have to purchase a new whole black even if it's full because they have to work together and it's weird because even though it's in different boxes i guess when you put them in together it registers them it registers the cartridges as a team or something and once you one of the team members is out they all got to go or something i don't know that's the only thing i can surmise from it because it literally comes in two different boxes when you purchase the ink the black comes by itself and the color cartridges come in one box together so but once you put them in the machine they're registered as one unit i guess and that's definitely a problem because it doesn't matter what level they are so i'm going to close this just to show you the levels of this now this is a full cartridge right now because of um <clears throat> as i said the insane situation they just put them in there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the other cartridge and i'm going to show you actually what i'm talking about because see going back to that so i'm going to go to hide then i'm going to go to settings and I'm going to show you the level of ink cartridge information so see they're all full but I can't use them because of the instant ink thing right so now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to take these out oh I got to hold on I guess I just wanted to initialize as you can see the message again that it cannot be used until printer is enrolled or instant. Now I'm gonna go in. Oh, let's see if I can do it this time. Oh. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm going to change the cartridges back to the ones that were it just used the black up but it didn't use the um you gotta be careful not to mess these up these up with so you just put them in it's color coded so that's the blue make sure you hear it click and you put it in and then you're going to put this in that's the pink and then 
there's the yellow. Yeah, that one is there. Hold on. You gotta make sure you hear that click. Okay, so it'll tell me if it didn't work. And then the last one, as you can see, this is much smaller. These are the ones they just sent me as replacements. So I'm going to close those. Got another. Let it initialize. So while you finish your closing, you want to write down any changes to the text that you have left on the screen. Let me just see how you want to write it. So if you want to keep your, your printer on Wi Fi 24 7, then one that is this is a great printer for you but for if you are if you just want to use your ink when you use your ink use your do, um, print your documents when you print your documents and not have your thing on Wi-Fi then this is not the printer for you I'm really funny with the Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi opens the door to um, this technology I mean it's like Bluetooth it's like you have on your phone on Bluetooth and you're sleeping. In the meantime, if somebody's um, roaming or doing something with their satellite, and I'm not trying to be like like paranoid or anything like that, but I'm just saying, I don't want to use my, I don't want my Wi-Fi on my printer all 24 seven. That's not what I want in a printer. So maybe I'm used to the older printers where you just put the ink in and you print, but this is no. Mm -mm. So this is them. This is how they're them. Um, they're increasing their their bottom line because even though you're getting the ink, I guess for five dollars or ten dollars a month, you have to have your your system on Wi-Fi twenty four seven. That's too much, like Big Brother to me. It's just too. It's it's too too much. But as you can see, this is what happens when you change the ink. It's going through the whole what they call the maintenance process so you have to wait for that to process and I mean, this computer is going back but that's the ink and Okay, there you go. So it just finished, and as you can see, it's saying the indicated cartridges are genuine HP cartridges that were previously installed. So it has some sort of computer chip in it, so it, det it can determine if you're putting a, if you're putting a bootleg cartridge in or whatever. So I'm gonna go to the cartridge information. There you go. It just happens to be on it. So as you can see, remember these are the ones that I just replaced. I put the old ones back in because these are the sort of messages said that were previously installed. So as you can see, the levels here are oops. So it's telling you the actual amount for each individual. If you touch each individual, it's an individual one, it'll tell you. So as you can see, the black who has which has the red triangle, that's really low. But if I press that, it's gonna say it's probably not gonna support. Well, actual level may vary. That's what it says on all of them. And I can tell you now that it's not gonna, it's not gonna print any black ink because when I try to print, it just it gives you a faded page. So it prints it, but it's like it prints some of it. Like you might have like one paragraph, and the rest of the, the page is faded. It's like a streak. So, but this is the point that I'm making. These three cartridges are gonna have to be tossed because if I put them in with the other one, and actually I'm gonna show you that. I switch and put these in it's going to give me a message saying that you can't use it because it was previously used with something else so hold on let me do that so i'm going to say okay here and i'm going to you got to be careful i don't want to mix this up so i'm only going to do one i'm going to do the i'll do two i'll do the black because remember this one is a small size right the new one is a chunky one. It's bigger. So I'm just going to put that one. I'm going to just do that one. Now watch. Now watch what it says. Okay, 
we gotta go through the initial process again. The initiation process. Checking the portal. So that's gonna be about five minutes. Maybe four. Hold on. There you go. Now it's actually too far. Now it's like less than a minute. So the cartridges cannot be used until printers are enrolled in instant ink. Okay. So now I went back to that message. Well, that's weird because. Let me see. Let me try some. Let me try one more thing. That's weird because it's saying that because that one is from the instant ink section. So let me see if I can put. I don't have an unfold one from the previous one. The cartridge right here. Hold on. Okay, so let's see if I can use this one. This is an old chunky one that I got. I'm gonna put that one in there. Click. Close. Initialize. This is the HP 8025, not the 8025E, the 8025, which that's another thing because why do they have the 8025E, because I'm thinking that's like, that's more um, internet based where you will have to have wireless, whereas if it's just the HP, because when I bought it, I thought that's what it meant, I thought the regular one, 8025 was just like a regular printer, and the 8025E was more wireless based. But no, it's the same for both of them. Okay, hold on. So we're still waiting for it to look wrong. Just trying to see what the message is. But if you, yeah, there we go. So now it says the indicated cartridges are previously installed. Okay, so I mean, so that main one that I installed was the black one. Let's see if that. So it's still giving me the same information. That's a little wrong. So let me see if I can. Hi, I am an automated system who will connect you to an agent. Okay, so you as can you can see, the parts are very low. They may be sufficiently. I need tech support for my HP printer. Depleted to force poor print quality. So, I want to buy a press laptop. OK. How can I help you today? Because I already put the thing in the print. And then I put the little flat thing out so it can come through. Well, let's see what happens. I'm sorry. You did not receive your entry? OK. It's printing. Sorry. I really couldn't understand I changed that. the color. Sorry. I had a little issue there. Oh. Could you please try again? 